Oh well, hi everyone. I'm Zivoid. Well, Don is my real name, but Zivoid is how people know me in the scene. And uh, I'm here to talk about scenes that, which well, you can even see Zivoid here, that's good. But um, first, a, a short bit about me, because uh, I'm an old school demo scener in the sense of being old. Uh, I was mostly active between 1986 until 95-ish, and then I had a break for kids and stuff like that, and got back into the scene again. 2004, 2005, by actually returning into the remixing scenes of Commodore 64 and Amiga. And then I bumped into, uh, into the real demo scene, as I like to call it, really, uh, again. And it feels good. I'm, I'm back here, and I'm just gonna... I haven't prepared anything, I'm just gonna enlighten you guys and gals if you don't know what we are and what we do. So, um, as I said, if you look on the, uh, the little, little big screen here, you see live now at Party Broadcast. This is basically what we try to do. Um, about five years ago, almost four and a half years ago, um, I was a DJ on another uh, radio station, a web radio named Slay Radio, which uh, aimed at uh, Commodore 64 remixes and uh, original sets. And actually, it's Slagon, the, the founder of Slagon. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Slagon, if you hear this. Uh, but then, when uh, when we felt a bit like I was doing, I was wanting to do more than just Commodore 64 stuff. Uh, I I overdid it a bit with playing other platforms and stuff, and they felt, hey, this is not really what we want to do. So we kind of split apart, uh, and me and some other friends just decided to. Well, let's start seeing that. Let's let's start doing something real, demo scene focused or main focused because we're not only demo scene. We're uh, all sorts of different scenes, really. The net label scene, space synth, and, and retro gaming scene as well. Not only demo stuff, but what we try to do is try to cover as much as demo parties as possible by going there, broadcasting audio and now also video. Uh, thanks to Booster of Loonies for helping out with that. Um, so, to as many play, uh, possible parties as we can, we try to be there, be present, and actually do a broadcast for all the seniors that cannot make it there. Because it's, it's expensive to travel around, we know. Um, so, we cannot be everywhere at once. Last weekend, we had a broadcast from Flashback down, down under in Australia, which was possible because of the fact that they helped out from there. Uh, so we provided a platform for them to broadcast on and they could deliver back their stuff to us, which is most excellent. I haven't listened back to it all yet because I was, I was traveling most of the time, but it sounded like they had fun down there. And therefore, we need to make sure that you guys have fun here as well. Uh, because um, our main goal is to help expanding the scene knowledge and let's uh, seniors who cannot ascend, who cannot travel everywhere to be part of it as well. And perhaps get even new people to visit more uh, parties where they've never been. Like we have one guy from the Remix 64 community, Rafi, Analog X. This is his first demo party and uh, it's, it's possible because, well, there are not that many parties here in the US. <laughs> Sad enough that Metoikos and, and Dr. Claw are trying to change that a bit. Um, but. By, if we can make one new person to go to the next party that, that they have a possibility to, that, that they hear about on our broadcast, then, then we have succeeded. And uh, so far it's going pretty well. We're steadily growing. Um, right now we have, as I see, 42 listeners from 10 countries. And we also have a bunch of people on the video stream, which we cannot really measure right now, but that will come later on. Um, but um, we are a group of people, right now we are actually five of our broadcasters here present, which is <laughs> quite amazing because, uh, well, Psychnerd, I've never met him before, he's from Quebec in Canada. And then we have Stefan Kemman from, uh, well, Pittsburgh. <laughs> and, and then we have Frankie from Belgium, and I'm from Sweden. So um, we're a, a different bunch of people, and you have a screensaver with this, Frankie, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and um, we all try to, to help out to, to make it um, as interesting for people to listen to as possible and uh, to participate. Because we wouldn't be anything without the audience, uh, 
at parties or at home participate in two things. Uh, so therefore, uh, we have a, an IRC chat going. I mean, there's an IRC channel for uh, for this party as well on on IRC net named at party. Just the uh, I still don't really realize why you use the at sign in this name. Sorry, Matikas. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> we have to make your life difficult. Yes, of course. That's how it should be. <laughs> now, but we have a CSAT channel on uh, on Fnet. And every show that we do, uh, that we uh, broadcast, we record. We also record it, record the chat log, because if you're uh, if you're doing something, if I'm sitting talking to to the people, the listening, the listeners, saying, "Ha ha, that was a fun thing you wrote there," uh, and they just hear it back if they downloaded the show afterwards, they really can't get the connection of, uh, of what what I was laughing about or saying. So we have, uh, you can download our shows, but we also have a little application named Relive. This is one of the versions of that. Uh, that is a show playback tool, really. Um, as said, you can download the shows in MP3 from our site in, in our archive, but you can also listen to it live streamed uh, via HTTP. So we have. Since that is one of the stations here, we are open for more stations. There will be other channels, other podcasts uh, coming later on as well. But if we go on to our little page here, you see there are a bunch of parties we have been broadcasting. I think we're up to 240 shows or something like that. What is it said something about that? Um, and we can actually we can look at the broadcast from uh, from yesterday by just, if it wants to be part of this, clicking on it. No, it's not responding, that's Windows for you. Uh, but um, you can actually uh, listen back to, to the show and follow the chat log as it's placed back when this one wakes up. Uh, oh, it will. Uh, the, uh, the application is available for Windows, Mac OS X, and also uh, there's an Android version without the chat log, but that's coming soon. And there's an iPhone and iOS version coming soon as well. And it's basically an open platform, so um, uh, it's, it's a simple structure to, to create these things. And if there are any people that are have any podcasts or anything like that, they, they would like to implement this, just contact us and we'll will help you set things up, because it would, it, we want to expand the, the possibilities. And this is also meant for, because there are other demo scene radio stations or web radios uh, that are not doing that much broadcasting like we do, basically having shows, but they have other music stuff on there. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to quit this and start again. See if it works. Oh, of course, we actually have a job out, but let's try this one. Does your machine run Java, Frankie? I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The <laughs> plugin is not installed. Okay. <laughs> and, and if people are interested in helping out creating new clients for other platforms, they're welcome, uh, very welcome to do so because it's a very simple format to implement. It's regular streaming stuff. But what you can do on our website, for instance, um, is if you register, if you register and log in, you can actually choose what you want to listen to in the sense of it's a rotational that you can well, you can uh, do your own tweaks to. You can queue up stuff uh, out of our 5000 track repository and we're constantly adding new tracks at all points. Uh, we try to uh, keep up with the party releases and uh, music competitions and just add stuff. It is a bit tricky to have the time to do all this because well, we all have regular lives. This is just a, a hobby project, but, but we're getting there. And people are helping, uh, helping out quite as much as they can. Um, I want to show this a little real life a bit more. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't sneak into your machine, Frankie. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some stuff you would normally show, Belgian and all. <laughs> um, but here we go. Uh, let's see if the application will work better this time. As you see, you have the BitChamp podcast and demo vibes, for instance. There are the regular podcasts that um, that we have put into this as well. So it's it's a simple way of listening to to more stuff, and we want more more of this to be added as well because, well, 
having one hub is is easier and, and it, it will extend things. Well, let's let's take take another show just to see if we have something here. The unplanned and unscheduled show. This show uh, by Hoffman, one of our DJs, and he's doing a live mix. And you can, this bar down here is actually showing each and every track. And you can just click in it and jump further on like any uh, player. And then we have the chat block. Which actually really follows what was going on at that point, especially. So, um, so you can actually relive the shows as we had the broadcast, which, which gives it another dimension, especially if you're the broadcaster yourself. The trophy kids listen to these days quite a good Yeah, there we have Hoffman for instance. And, and for instance, when we did the first launch show that we did back in 2009, we, we were founded in 2008, and then we had about a year, to, a year of development, and then we had a big launch party in uh, the, well, February the 7th, that we, uh, um, we played all the tracks from uh, one or two compilations that we have released as well by uh, demo scene and game musicians, or just regular musicians, that we call The Sound of Scenes at. Because they are freely available on our website, uh, Torrent or whatever. The first one has 50-ish tracks, the second one has 70-ish tracks of every basic genre you can imagine, really. And what we did uh, in the launch show, that was uh, uh, yeah, that was 5 hours and 45 minutes long, uh, we had a, a bit of a stressful situation when we did this. I had 25 people at my place, we were having just a really nice party, and everything went broke down. When people started joining the, the, the server, everything just died upon us. So we didn't get to experience what was going on on the IRC. And if you look at the chat log now, it was quite busy at that point. Because uh, we have this little countdown, being connected to space and all, as we went with the Sputnik as logo. But it was really excellent to actually get to read back on this, because people were counting down with us. But we didn't get to experience it live, but you can actually get that experience reliving it with this little application. And now it's, it will show how far off some people are uh, timing-wise when they listen to it. And you just look at this. People are excited, that's good. And then within a half a minute, more people will have the lift up because the buffer is, is different. But the people were really, really excited about this release, as we were. And then we've just been going on and just having fun. We're doing these kind of small gatherings as well, occasionally once a year or twice a year, depending on where it is. And actually, uh, some of our other uh, broadcasters in Germany will actually do a show after we end this first block of this show. They will do another show from Germany, and then we'll come back to do the uh, the Congo bit from here as well. So this. Um, this, uh, this application gives great pleasure for us as well as for other people, and quite a lot of people are actually using it. So um, that's that's a big uh, big thing that we're happy about. And as I said, I don't really have that much more to to say about us, but we we're a happy bunch of people who are helping out to broadcast from as many parties as possible, or just try to bring the scene to people around the world that can't make it elsewhere. So. Um, if you're interested in, in looking at us, we're at scenesat.com and just uh, well, pop over there and uh, chat with us on IRC or whatever and if you have any more questions uh, when you're here, just come to any one of us and we'll hopefully answer that. Uh, as well as, I might want to interview one or, uh, some of you guys if you want to as well, because we, we're doing live broadcasts from the party now uh, and uh, it's, it's good to get to get to have some uh, local people on stock like this now. There you go, there. It's good to have some uh, some people uh, experienced just to talk back to, to the people at home listening. Uh, since 
yeah, there are quite a few people listening whenever and, and just after the show's have been released as well. Uh, we have a bit of a, a time zone issue, of course, being six hours away from well, Sweden and, and everything like that. And um, um, hopefully we'll get to have some more American localized time shows as well with Steph Kevin and, and, and Sightburn, for instance. So we'll try to balance that because otherwise um, we, we want to make this side of the, the pond to grow a bit as well, listener-wise, because we have quite a bit of, bit of listeners and people around Europe, but we want the American side to be part of this as well. And they, they should really, you guys should really tune in when we do shows from other parties as well, because it's, I, I, I think that we're doing a good job, I hope at least. <laughs> but any questions about that? Otherwise just grab me, whatever. Yes, I see. Are, are you entirely self-funding this project, like this art? Yes, uh, self-funding. Yes, we are, really. Um, thanks to a lot of people who donate occasionally, yes. Um, otherwise, well, we're being broke as we are, <laughs> anyway. No, but uh, everything has been uh, self-funded. We, we we're lucky to have hosting uh, donations, or rather free hosting, basically. And people are helping out with providing relays and everything. We're way over capacity anyway, because uh, uh, we have overcapacity in that sense because I think that our top peak has been 30 megabits of audio use. That's what we're starting to use video as well. And we have 2.3 gigabits to use. So come on, more listeners. <laughs> but yes, we're, we're completely self-funded with the help of donations occasionally from, from well, seekers mostly. And, yeah. Anything else? Oh, well, if so, then I'll, I'll stop ranting because I talk too much anyway, so that's, that's all good. But I, I'll be here all weekend, so just how if, it's, if there's something you want. Okay, thanks.